November 1980. A group of fishermen set out on a lake in Louisiana. By evening, the lake was gone, swallowed whole by the earth. There are moments when our solid, predictable world suddenly turns unstable. Moments that remind us that what feels normal can change in the blink of an eye. And today, we're diving into some of the strangest times when our planet broke its own rules. From lakes that vanish to compasses that lose north. And stay with us until the end, so you don't miss today's bonus brain buzz. A river that shouldn't exist. One that seems to defy the very laws of nature. Imagine one calm morning in Louisiana, 1980. Fishermen are out on Lake Peñure, a place they've known their whole lives. The water is calm, the boats are steady. Nothing feels unusual until the first ripple. At first, it's just a swirl, almost like a bathtub drain. But it grows stronger, wider. Boats start spinning, barges are pulled in. By the end of the day, an entire lake is gone. Where did it even go? As it turns out, an oil rig drilling nearby punctured straight into a salt mine beneath the lake. The whirlpool dragged everything down, even trees and part of the shoreline. And when the chaos stopped, the lake was just a fraction of what it once was. Here's the detail that really blows my mind. The canal that normally carried water out of the lake actually reversed direction. For hours, a river flowed backwards, desperately trying to refill what the earth had swallowed. And Lake Peñor isn't alone. In Guatemala City, a sinkhole once opened overnight, swallowing buildings and leaving a hole so deep you couldn't see the bottom. Imagine walking to work and finding your street gone, replaced by a black void. So what do we call this? A glitch in reality? A warning from nature? Or just bad engineering? The truth is that not every glitch comes from human mistakes. Sometimes the planet itself bends the rules, and that's where things get even stranger. Have you ever sat in silence, but something seemed off? It appears that for some people, quiet rooms are haunted by a low, steady hum. Not a ringing, but a deep vibration, like a truck idling in the distance, except there's no truck. This strange sound has been reported around the world, in Bristol, England, in Taos, New Mexico, even in Canadian towns. But here's the weird part. Only a small fraction of people can hear it. For everyone else, silence really is silence. If you're one of the unlucky ones, the hum doesn't stop. People say it follows them into bed at night keeps them awake, gnaws at their peace of mind. And when they cover their ears, the sound is still there. So what's causing it? Some scientists blame hidden machinery, factories, traffic, even distant power lines. Others suggest the Earth itself, geological vibrations or pressure waves traveling through the ground. And then there's the theory it's us, that a few human ears are simply tuned to frequencies most of us will never detect. The truth is, no one knows for sure, which makes the hum one of the eeriest mysteries you could experience in your own living room. If you discovered you could hear it, would you want to keep that ability, or would you do anything to get rid of it? And if a sound that doesn't exist for most people can still torment a few, what happens when even the ground beneath us stops following the rules? Since the earliest days, people have relied on landmarks to guide themselves. At first, we followed the stars, then came maps, and eventually we invented the compass. From that moment on, navigation boiled down to one simple rule. North is north. A needle points the way, and it's been trusted for centuries. But what if north suddenly stopped being north? Imagine you're in the middle of the ocean on a ship, and your compass begins spinning wildly, as if the world itself has lost its bearings. This isn't just a sailor's myth. In regions rich with iron deposits or magnetic anomalies, compasses can drift or whirl uncontrollably. 
Hudson Bay in Canada, for example, sits on a massive magnetic anomaly that pulls needles away from true north. Explorers there had to ignore their compasses entirely and navigate by the stars. And then there's the Bermuda Triangle, where tails spread of instruments spinning and planes losing direction. Most of those stories have scientific explanations, but if you've ever watched a compass needle go mad, you'd swear the ground itself was cursed. Today we know these glitches come from the Earth's magnetic field, constantly shifting and warping. But to early travelers, it was witchcraft. Their most trusted tool was suddenly lying to them. And here's the unnerving thought. Earth's magnetic poles have flipped many times in the past, which means one day, compasses might not point north at all. They could point south. So what do you think? If compasses really did flip in our lifetime, how would we handle a world where our sense of direction literally turned upside down? And as strange as all of this sounds, lakes vanishing, silence humming, compasses spinning, it's not the end of the story. But before we get there, dear viewer, thank you for still being here. Seriously, most people never make it this far, but you did. And that means you get the bonus brain buzz, the little extra story we save just for the people who stick around. And honestly, it's our favorite fact of the whole episode. Deep in the Amazon rainforest, there's a river that locals whisper about. From a distance, it looks like any other. Winding green banks, steam rising faintly in the morning light. But step closer and you realize something is terribly wrong. The water is hot, not warm like a spring, but scalding. Birds that fall into it don't fly out again. Small animals that wander too close collapse in seconds. This isn't just a river, it's a cauldron. Scientists call it Shanae Timpishka. Temperatures climb close to boiling, high enough to cook anything that enters. What's strange is that there are no volcanoes nearby, no obvious source for this kind of heat. So where does the boiling come from? The leading theory is that water from deep beneath the earth seeps upward, carrying geothermal heat into the river. But the truth is, the mystery isn't fully solved. And it leaves us with a question. If nature can hide something this extreme in plain sight, how many other rules of our planet are just waiting to break? These strange stories, vanishing lakes, humming silence, spinning compasses, and rivers that boil, remind us that Earth isn't a stable backdrop. It's alive, unpredictable, and sometimes it bends its own rules. If you enjoyed this episode, hit like, drop a comment with the weirdest natural mystery you've heard of, and subscribe so you don't miss the next Brain Buzz. Until then, thank you for watching, and see you next time.